Well, good evening, everyone. Here I am back for the second day of um, uh, my recordings to do with pancreatic cancer, no eyes. And uh, I start off looking, get, lining myself up with a video. I'm not good at any of these sort of fancy dancy things, putting music behind it or anything like that. I'm just recording on my old iPhone. What did it just tell me? I've got a little um, speech uh, voiceover um, program to help me to be able to do things with the iPhone. It just said, um, grey haired woman. How rude. Uh, it didn't say in a fluffy dressing gown in brackets, looks appalling. This is good. There are good reasons to be blind. You can't see yourself in the mirror and you can't see the surgeon who just walked in. Oh my goodness. Mm. Um, um, some people, um, but I digress. So here I am at the end of day two. Uh, yesterday's was a bit bleak, I know. Today, we're smiling a bit better. It's all okay. It's um, not good chances that we have here. Like, let's face it, if I'm gonna still be here in five years time and there's five people at the table now, I have to have pushed five, four other people out of their chairs. It's a bit rude, really. If I don't do that, they'll push me out of my chair. So, you know, God looks after those who look after themselves, I reckon. Hang on to your chair, guys. Um, anyway, so, today I went downstairs for the ERPC, only they couldn't get my bile duct to take the stent. They couldn't do what they wanted to do. And they sent me back upstairs, having had a, um, what amounts to a gastroscopy, I believe, with uh, a theater, you know, foyer full of other people. There was a man, for example, who was 95 and had, was having a pin put in his hip. I thought, yeah, there's inspiration for you. Um, and uh, they sent me back upstairs having done diddly squat. So there we were lining up options and this absolutely gorgeous young surgeon sat down and described to myself and laid out to mum and myself what my options were he was explaining that um for anyone who might be blind watching the pancreas looks a bit like a fish um i won't now mention that i had fish for dinner or maybe i just did um and it has a head and a body and a tail most people's cancer starts off in their tail by the time it gets to the head and starts producing symptoms we have a problem Houston and no operation can be performed I'm lucky I'm in the 15 to 20 percent that an operation can be performed upon uh, because mine started off in the head um, so the options are that they put a tube into my tummy and re release the um, build up in the bile ducts that way but then i'd be trailing tubes around for the next two weeks i can just imagine one popping out when i didn't want it to if i'm at home oh my god can you imagine the mess and it just didn't sound like a really cushy solution to me um so that's one option the second one is that we go straight to whipple next Monday. Now, the surgeon who just came in was a bit upset because he's not able to do it himself. Uh, and he's the top of the field, he told me, and um, therefore it would be best if he did it. Uh, I actually have a woman doing it, and so I immediately flashed to, um, was it the point of sisters? Sisters are doing it for themselves. Um, so she's doing it for me, and I'm happy with that. Uh, that's on Monday, if all goes according to plan. Over the weekend, if the stuff that's in the bile duct gets infected or anything like that, then we'll have to go to plan B. They'll put the tubes in tummy, like it or not, and the Whipple will be put back by a couple of weeks. I reckon to get it up and running now, um, you know, I'm on the road. I'm on the road to recovery as of Monday night, minus the gallbladder, minus the duodenum, minus a third of the stomach, uh, and 40% of the pancreas and well some of the small intestine I think uh, but you know maybe that will add to the weight loss which could be a good thing 
and as well as that, um, then after six weeks, I'll start chemotherapy. So it's topsy-turvy, it's not what we planned. Um, guess what, pancreatic cancer was not what I planned. Um, I'll be back with more. Thanks for listening and thanks so much for the messages of support. You are all incredible. If you're watching this, I love you. Love you to pieces and that's to the cousins and the friends, to my mum who's been stellar. My goodness, you have no idea, but you do if you've met my mother. And my dad who's been sitting at home, God bless him. And um, also my mates, um, you know who you all are, Irene, Susie, you know, have been amazing. Um, there's so many people that have just been so kind. So that boys you up, believe you me. So thanks for that. Keep watching my videos if you want to know what's going on. I'll keep trying to do them. And maybe I'll learn how to do the cutesy effects. Because, you know, I could have, if I wanted to tonight, I could have played Soon You'll Get Better by Taylor Swift. But you can just imagine me talking to that song. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, chat soon. And um, thanks for watching, if indeed you made it to the end. Six minutes. New Thunder. New Thunder. Six. Stop recording video.